Well, now it's time to start the Zerg campaign of StarCraft Insurrection Remastered, and unfortunately, this is not going to be blind. I've already played the first two missions. Now, first change in this mission. Originally, you had to build a base with nothing. Here, in this version, is a total clusterfuck. And you, you're gonna lose a lot of shit in the beginning. There's just nothing you can do about it. But first thing I'm gonna do is gather up all my mutalisks that I can find. Trust me, your static defense your static units that you have and static defenses will just mop the floor with everything. And I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna gather, did not mean to do that, gather up all of my mutalisks, put them in a group, and I'm just gonna have these couple Okay. And I'm gonna immediately start gathering minerals. And gathering other resources. I'm gonna get some more mutalisks here. In the original version of this map, you just have to get to Syndria. You had to go down here, where she is now, and then the map would say, would say, oh, she's been captured by enemy forces, and then it would force you up to the top left corner of the map, which was dumb as shit, but yeah. And you start off with full upgrades. Alright, let's get more Hydralisks up here. Oh no, they killed Dragoons, or they killed the Ultralisk. gonna get yeah as you see we start off with a lot of units I'm just gonna use them to clean stuff off or clean stuff out I'm only getting a spire so I can actually produce more mutalisks I think I, I think if I look around I might be able to find a full 13 or or actually no not 13 more like 20 something yeah, I have 22, and I may have, and I lost some earlier, but that's fine. I'm just gonna bum rush straight to Syndria. Actually, get all this. Actually, I'm just gonna get everything down here because the Terrans are just no match for my sunken colonies, even at 333 upgrades. Uh, let's see. Can I start building mutas yet? No. Come on now. I did speed this up, yeah. Okay. What did it destroy there? Oh, whatever. Alright, 
I'm gonna keep looking around the map for random... Random mutalisks. I, I think I actually got them all. Eh. Okay, I guess I did. Come on, Spire. Um, in the... Oh, and I should also point out, in the original version, when you had to go down here, then go up there, there was no time limit. My guess is Vorgaz wanted to make more out of the line where the Overmind says, hurry and find her before she escapes. I mean, it would make sense. It would actually make that line mean something. So... If I wasn't on time constraint, I could destroy every single enemy on the map. And it probably wouldn't be very hard to do. Hey, here's a Mutalisk. Um, but since I'm under this time constraint, I don't really want to risk that. Alright, Mutalisk. Uh, SM. And then where's the SM? I'm gonna get like four groups of. Yeah, four full groups of Mutas. And have them just plow into the enemy and destroy. Er, and into Sindria specifically and destroy her. If you do this quick enough, you might actually be able to do. Do this with three dozen, but I'm going with four dozen. I want total overkill and destruction on Sindria, and I'm gonna reload the game until I get the epic guitar riff at the beginning. The you go ahead and gather more minerals. Alright. All right. Oh, Sindria. We're coming for you. The swarm is coming for you, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Send all of this crap down. I doubt this was the intended... Well, actually... I'm not sure what the intended way is. Actually, I shouldn't... I need to quit saying the intended way, because I don't think there is an intended way to do this. But, uh, this is definitely the fastest way of doing this. And look, they don't even- oh, they have a lot less Dragoons than they did when I tried this the first time. Oh, Sindria, you are so fucked. Less than 10 minutes. Now this one's going to take a bit longer. Now, in the original version of this mission, 
you had to create a hive instead of a layer in three hatcheries. And I'm gonna move all this stuff away so I can get as close to that as I can. The extractor, I guess, will be fine for right now. And now let me introduce the ma a major change that uh, Vorgaz made to the Zerg here. You can build creep colonies outside of the creep. You can just place them anywhere, and they cost they cost more money to build, and they take longer to construct. But uh, spore sunken and spore colonies, on the other hand, take very little. Very few resources and cost very little to mutate from this point. Which I'll show right now, actually. Oh, actually, no, I won't. I need more buildings. Whoops. Oversight on my part. Oh, well. Uh, they, those guys can just start gathering minerals. And I'm not gonna lie, I haven't gotten a chance to watch Jay Barino's playthrough of the original Insurrection, so I don't know what all changes he made, or what all changes Vorgaz made, other than changing the objectives. I know you still had to beat this in 30 minutes. I do know that was left untouched. Guys, there you go. Now, I had a look at this with Black Sheep Wall on to see what's going on under the hood. And every five minutes, a group of Zerg, of White Zerg, will come from the bottom here to attack your, your base. Let's see, do I need a spawning pool for... Yeah, I do. Okay, well, I'm gonna need... Need to make a spawning pool right here, I guess, will be fine. Actually, I'm going to make several evolution chambers, at least two, for upgrades. Now I'll do that when the time comes. Nine, ten. I'm going to get all twelve, uh, I'm going to try to get twelve drones gathering here. That's ten, I think. Yeah, ten, eleven. And I'm going to want to throw down a second hatchery pretty soon, too, because... The way to win this one is to completely overwhelm your enemy with Hydralisks. Obviously, since this came out, the original version came out before Brood War, you couldn't mutate Hydralisks into Lurkers. But, uh, even so, I don't have the time to be making Lurkers. Like, they're pretty resource intensive. Though I would love to see, uh-oh. Speaking of Zerg, here they come. Yep, 25 minutes. That's how you can know that uh, the White Zerg are coming. And I'm gonna try to lure them into the vicinity of the sunken colony to hurt them. And here they come. They do get progressively stronger. And yeah, I'm gonna have to juggle a little bit between uh, what I want my mute hydralisks to do, at least until I get some sunken colonies where planted down where the white zerg will attack. My guess is is that the white zerg is uh, carpenter's brood. Is that yeah, hydralisk? Actually, move this back just a little bit. Move this over here. Get some more drones down. Uh, then eventually, I'm just gonna start plant. Just start planting hot. Uh, well, planting down sunken colonies. I actually didn't show. Oh, I didn't show this off. Um, another change Vorgaz made is that you can change. Like once a colony has already been mutated, 
you can actually change it from a sunken colony to a spore colony, and a spore colony to a sunken colony, which is definitely something you couldn't do in the original. So, I'm just gonna upgrade Missile Attacks and Carapace, along with Groove Spines. And get, um... You know, and get some more sunken colonies here. If I had the time and resources, I would love to make some lurkers, but again, I don't really have the time for that. Also, I'm not sure if it would be worth it. Now, the melee attacks from the Evolution Chamber improve Sunken Colony's damage. Actually, I can show this off right here. Then, yeah, you see how fast that is? Woo! But I'm not gonna do that, because... The Zerg never send uh, Mutalisks, they only send uh, Hydralisks and Ultralisks. You? Yeah. Look how fast that is. Vroom. And I'm gonna get another two. That should hold me over. That should hold me over for now. And get muscular augments, of course. Uh, let's see. There's another mineral patch over here, but getting there is a little bit tricky, at least I feel. Also, if you build up there, the white serve will attack you. Alright, uh, get another creep colony here. Get two more hydras. Uh, uh oh. That's not good. Come on. Get and sunken colony room. As you can see, my hydralisks are already taking a bit of a beating at the hands of the fire bats, but that's okay. All right, so. Luckily, those aren't anywhere near upgraded. Alright, so... Oh, and I do need to make this a layer. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost lost a... I did lose a Hydralisk. Never mind, I lost a Hydralisk because I got greedy. I'm just gonna plant this here, and I guess I'll plant... Well, I can't plant that one there yet. But I'll plant it down pretty soon. Ah. Uh, oh, well. Need to wait for that to get done anyway. So, never mind. I, have no, I dare not attack yet, in case the Terrans actually decide to assault. So they do, I'm screwed. Um... I don't know if I want to... Actually, I'm going to hold off just a bit. At least till I get enough minerals to get a layer. Or... Minerals to do that, I mean. Alright. Uh... I don't want to just throw my Hydralisks at these bunkers just yet. I want to at least wait till I get... Get another hatchery down. Alright. And then I can just... Okay, now at this point I think I can just start mass producing them. So now I'll at least start killing off this bunker, which is buffed up from original StarCraft, of course. Oh, this may have been a mistake. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, this was a mistake. Oh shit, oh shit. At least my hatchery's tanking, tanking these shots like a pro. Okay, 
Okay, come on, come on. Yes! Yeah, now I'm just gonna mass produce these hydras. Speaking of hydras. <laughs> Love the static defenses. Well, unfortunately, I lost a Hydra. But, no matter, I should still be able to take out this bunker. Now I'm gonna have to move in and kill a couple barracks. Or, kill at least one set of barracks that they've got. Because, unless, if the AI has another barracks, which I know for a fact that they do... Oh, damn, dude. Um... then they won't rebuild their their barracks. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. All right, so just replace, rebuild, and destroy with these Hydralisks. Oh, kill that new Dresden guard. Get him out of here. He, unlike the rest of this filth, is fully upgraded and will actually hurt a lot. Right, I'm just gonna push forward. Come on, finish it. Yes. Okay. Now you got. Now the lone hydralisk survivor can go home. I should probably put some sunken colonies here too. But I'm gathering mi minerals fast enough to produce from multiple, multiple hatcheries, so... And yeah, that's the key to victory. Oh. Okay. I definitely need to bring in more Hydralisks to this fight in order to destroy this base quicker. Oh, I can produce another three. Get him out of here. I think they're pulling men out of their bunkers now to try and combat me. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh. Alright, so there's only gonna be one more attack there before I fail the mission. Let's just get this crap out of here. Uh, actually, no. Make sure I survive this last attack. Uh, yeah, may as well get you uh, mutating too. Uh, yeah, may as well. Now 
Now, I know in the original StarCraft Insurrection, they made you destroy every single enemy building before you got... before the game said you win. Vorgaz seems to be pretty good about... have been pretty good about... Uh, changing that to just be destroy all unit or uh, destroy all buildings that produce enemy units. And I know that's the case here, since again I've already played this one off screen just to test it out. I got antsy and also played the last mission of this campaign because I love the Zerg and I couldn't wait to get started on it. So unfortunately, that's not going to be blind either. But I haven't touched the rest of the campaign, so... Also, I, there's another new Dresden guard down there, so... We're going to have to kill him, which... That won't be too hard. And I just kind of am destroying every building, just because I feel like it. Hydras. I would build Zerglings if you had access to the Adrenal Gland upgrade, but you don't, so... Kind of useless, honestly, without that. You get the hell out of here with, that, with those barracks, buddy. I would have to lead Zerglings here to destroy that one building in the original. Luckily, that is not the case here, although I will build Zerglings for the hell of it. Oh, never mind. I won. So. I guess I'll just end the segment here. Pretty short for this uh, LP, but I don't think anyone really minds. So I'll see you next time.